In this video, I'm going to show you how engineers or other users interact with SolidWorks files inside the Anovia v6 web client. When you first log in, you're going to see the power view, which is set up for your role, and it'll show you tasks related uh, to your group, routes, meetings, and the workspace itself that you can browse. And in the v6 web client, it looks like folders. As you might have seen in other videos, the SolidWorks integration, it looks like you're browsing these folders in Windows Explorer. In the web client, they look like folders uh, in your workspace panel. Now we can browse through these, um, this file list in a number of different ways. We can um, turn on and off the different uh, windows so that you can browse through the way you see fit. Once you want to look at a file um, and, and get more information from it, you can just click it from this list and it'll open up into its own window so that you can get more details about the file. In this case, it's a drawing, a SOLIDWORKS drawing, and from here we can click the icon to check it out. We can also perform other actions like uh, check out from this drop down, or we can do uh, a bill material sync. We can rename, save as, and promote. Now, the promote is what's going to move it along its life cycle and the life cycle essentially is the release cycle of this particular drawing and this chart would be something that an administrator could set up to set up the rules for how drawings are released and then we can promote it from this menu if you have privileges. What we can also see is the related models so you can see this drawing and you have its related models and we can click on the model and launch it into its own screen and from here further interrogate the, uh, the design by looking at its model. And from here you can again check out the model, you can download it um, so that you can open in SOLIDWORKS, but of course you can also open in SOLIDWORKS directly using the SOLIDWORKS integration. What we can also do is access the where used information for the part which will show us the drawing and also show us the assemblies where this part might be used. You can see it's a list here, shows the different configurations, the SOLIDWORKS configurations where that is used, and also the different revisions and versions where it's used. So this will be a pretty comprehensive list of everywhere where that part is used. If we click on an assembly, we can also see the summary of that assembly, and we can see the where used of that, the life cycle. Uh, but when we navigate here, what we're going to see is a full list of all the subassemblies and parts that are in this assembly. So this gives you your, uh, your breakdown of the assembly. And we can choose to filter this in a number of ways. We can change the display so it's a bigger pane to navigate. Um, we can um, move around column sizes. We can add different columns. We can rename the columns. So it's a way of uh, being able to organize this how you see fit as a user. If you uh, click the plus sign, you can open up the parts and look at full, full details of, the, um, of that assembly and change um, the columns and create different table views or change the display of the files themselves. And if we click on the file we can still perform all those actions that you might expect like um, promote or rename or save as or synchronize with the bill of material. And then once we're done looking at files we can simply go back to the home screen by clicking the home button that will take us back to the power view. And that wraps up my presentation of Anovia V6 web client.